What's up, people? Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88 here with a new with a with a new episode of Tech News. Okay. And folks, if you're one of those thousands of people that use Skype, this is going to make you blow a gasket. Listen to this. Microsoft's new Skype could be risky gamble. Microsoft on Monday announced a new version of its Skype messaging app along with a warning that previous versions of the software will be disabled after September 1st. Yes! So you know people, all those previous versions of Skype that you use, after September 1st, gone. You will have no other alternative but to go to the new one. Let's keep reading here. As we roll out, roll out improvements, there comes a time when we must shut down older services and application versions, wrote the Skype team in an online post. This is done to ensure that all consumers have the best possible Skype experience and that there are no quality or reliability issues resulting from older technology and new technology interoperating. Interoperating. There we go. Along the, among the new features in Skype 8.0 is supported for HD video and screen sharing calls Conference calls for up to 24 people can be staged in 1080p video from any device, including running Skype. High-quality conferencing is a strong feature of the new Skype. Skype has been a walled garden. If you're going to do that, you have to offer a higher quality than everyone else. So doing HD video will be will be a differentiator. Skype 8.0 will be available for Apple's iPad. And here's what it says, people. Easy sharing. At 1080p, Skype will have an advantage over Apple FaceTime, Google Duo, and Google Hangouts, and, and Facebook Messenger which max out at 720p. That might uh, that might matter to some. It it might not matter much at all if your video calls happen with smartphones. It's easier to grab someone's attention in a multi multi-person Skype conversation through the use of 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 mentions. After you type the symbol and the name of the person you want to virtually tap on the shoulder, a notification will be sent to them. Microsoft has added a chat media gallery to Skype, making it easier to find photos and links included in chats, sharing photos, videos, and files in Skype is easier. Files as large as 300 megabytes can be shared just by dragging them to, into a conversation window. 300 megabytes, that's not bad. Skype sharing, screen sharing has been di difficult compared to some of the newer apps. More new features include read receipts and private conversations. With read receipts, you can tell at a glance who has read your messages. When a message is read, an avatar appears below it in the chat. The feature can oh, it can it can be very useful in group chats for making sure everyone is up to speed in conversation. Private conversations is a way to encrypt calls text messages, and files, including the Signal Protocol, 
messages and applications about these conversations are hidden in the chat list to keep their information private. Private pro invites and group links also have been added to Skype. Pro profile invites simplify starting conversations with people who aren't on Skype by sending your profile to them with a simple tap. Group links speeds up the process of creating a group on Skype. Simply create the group and tap the invite more people option to send a link to people you want to join it. Anyone receiving the link can become a member with a click. Built-in call recording. Another addition to Skype will be cheered by many of its users. Call recording. As soon as someone starts to record a call, everyone is immediately notified. So there are no surprises. Everything from the call is recorded, including video call, video and screen shares. And everything is managed from the uh, from the uh, from the cloud. It's a pain in the butt in the past to record Skype calls. You don't have to go uh, uh, looking for someone else, uh, something else to record calls. Pervasive app. One of the advantages of Skype as it has over its competitors is its pervasiveness. Users can run Skype on iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux, Fire OS, and nearly and, and via nearly any web browser. Skype is also plugged into Office 365, the most popular Office suite. Most popular office suite. I'm sorry. If I I don't mean that I don't mean to go off topic, people. But if I'm going to use an office suite, I'll use LibreOffice. It's just that good. But anyway, although all of Skype is uh, is offered by a major vendor, Microsoft, it seem it doesn't seem to have the ecosystem attachment that its competitors have which may hurt its ability to attract new view users. While it comes from Microsoft today, Skype started as a standalone app for the purpose of, in, of instant communication. While... Uh, um, here we go. Other products feel more like add-ons to larger vendor ecosystems. Ecosystems from vendors have more gravitational pull. Preset continued. If you have another Google products in your life, if you have other Google products in your life, such as Android or Gmail, it's not a big leap to add its video column. If you have Facebook in your life, Facebook practically compels you to add its messaging and calling. Targeting younger users. When Skype was introduced in 2003, it broke significant ground in terms of capabilities and features. Unfortunately, Microsoft's development of Skype has more has lagged more recent entrants like Google and Facebook and have lost sight of some larger mar market trends. That leads uh, to a uh, to a stall in Skype's user members and sparks some of the changes we are seeing in the, this new version. The software has had performance problems too. Performance has been uh, has been clunky with poor reliability and slow load time. Those are particularly serious weaknesses for business users. Moreover, the classic, uh, the, the classic version of Skype, which Microsoft will stop supporting on, Sky, on September 1st, 
obviously was designed for desktops, making it um, seriously dated for, uh, for use on phones and tablets. The redesigned interface, most, uh, most of, the, of the features and its marketing material all seemed aimed at a crowd that's younger than the die-hard Skype user. Attempting that type of, of shift can be treacherous waters for Microsoft. They are clearly going for a younger demographic with a lot of graphical changes, but Skype made its play as a business tool. So a lot of its traditional users are older. Microsoft may find itself in a position where older users may not like the new UI and changes. And the younger crowd, uh, and the younger crowd, they are going, uh, av they are going after the, uh, and the younger crowd, they are going after may be tough to get away anyway, because they are using other tools. He pointed out, it's going to be a bit of a challenge for Microsoft to uh, to, to to reconcile uh, reconcile those things. All I gotta say in my personal opinion, all I gotta say to before I close this out, I think with with the direction Microsoft is going, I don't think the new version of Skype will appeal to everybody, though may some may like it. Basically what I'm getting at is Skype is gonna be a 50-50. But, when it comes to Microsoft and Skype, uh, that can differ. I mean, I mean, with, with all this data collection going around and with Microsoft's unscrupulous practices being very well documented, with the data collection direction that Microsoft has taken their company, this is going to hurt Skype a lot. I'll say this one thing. Skype is meant for communication with a lot of people. A lot of people rely on it. Skype is, should not be used as a data collection tool, which is what Microsoft has been doing. They are literally putting Skype into the ground, in my opinion. That's why you're seeing all these people use Hangouts. That's why you're seeing all these people use Google Duo. That's why you're, you're seeing people use Discord and, and all these other services, including Ubu. Ubu was not a good service a long time ago. But I'm pretty sure that it's gained a lot of ground since then. My opinion. But to me, with September 1st around the corner, all you Skype users that are still sticking with the classic Skype, be ready. Be ready. Because once the new version hits, say goodbye to the old interface you loved for so many years because they are literally forcing us to jump to the new interface. And I don't think that's right. We shouldn't be forced to leave something that has helped us so much in order to go to something that they think is the way we should go. All I gotta say is thank goodness that I have switched over to Linux. Because with Linux, I have choices. That's all I gotta say about that. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. And until next time, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88 saying see you in the next duel arena.